Hey, what's, what's up? up? It's Alder Carmen, 97 here with a great After Effects, after effects tutorial. tutorial. Today, I'm going to be teaching, teaching you how to do that cool radar effect. The one, the one I showed at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, a couple of days, days ago. ago. Looks, Looks like, like this. this. Okay, okay, so, so this, this is going to be a two-part two part tutorial. The first, first part is going to be, like, like just, just doing, doing the radar, radar effect. effect. And the, the second, second part, I'll, I'll be showing you how to do that, that twitch, twitch at the end. end. So, so, to get, get started, started, first, first what we're going to do is get a map of whatever you want, and you're going to drop it into a new composition. Now what we're going to do is go to control Y, it brings, it brings up, up a new solid. solid. So, so what, what we're going to do is just make it a comp size. Click, click OK. We're going to go, go layer. No, no. Effect. effect. Generate. Generate. Ramp. And, and we're going to make, make it a radial ramp. Bring, bring the start point, point down. And make, make the, the end point on the, on the Y position. position out. So, so it kind of looks, looks like, like a vignette kind of thing. So, so now, now what we're going to do is we're going to change the start, start color to about dark green, green right, right about there. And the end color to a nice dark black. Then we're going to change the transfer mode to hard light. Now, now you, you see, see it looks, looks like a nice, nice radar. Oh, not, not yet, yet, but there. Now, now what we're going to do is we're going to pre-compose this, this layer and call it map. Now, now what we're going to do is make, make the... So, so we're going to make the um, crosshairs, crosshairs now. now. So, so we're going to go layer, new solid, effect, effect generate, ramp. ramp. Uh, not, not ramp. ramp. What am I saying? Effect, effect generate, grid. There. Now, now what we're going to do is change the, the corner, corner points of both sides so it yeah, only has one line on, on each axis. axis. Now, now what we're going to do is bring, bring the border down, down to the three and the color down to a nice dark black. We're going to um, put that into... Never mind. Just pre-compose that color across hairs. Even though it's just one layer. Now what we're going to do is get the scanner effect. So we're going to go layer, new, solid. Control Y, and we're going to uh, make, make a bigger solid than the comp, and I'll tell you why. Basically, if you when you're doing the masking out, like going like this, nice triangle there. If you're doing that on it. The solid is the size of the comp. If, if you rotate it, then you see that there's a cutoff. But since, since we're making it a bigger layer, it won't need to cut off so much because the layer is bigger than the comp. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that layer back on and change the opacity to about 25. And now, now what we're going to do, we're going to rotate it. So we're going to click on the stopwatch for the rotation at the keyframe. Go to the end and say four rotations. And you see it will just swipe itself around like a nice like effect right there. So, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get that nice uh, hovering, hovering dot, dot over like, like whatever, whatever it is that you're doing. doing. So, so what we're, we're going to do, do, let's say, go to 
Chicago. So, so get out, out your lips, lips tool. Have, have the, the fill as a nice, nice light blue, blue and, and the stroke as a dark blue. blue. And, and change the pixels, pixels of, of the stroke to about 0.7. Now, now what we're going to do is click, click sh shift and drag oh, on your mouse, mouse open. open. So, so it's, it's going, going to create a nice, nice parallel circle. circle. Didn't, Didn't seem, seem to go, go too well there. there. And you can see it doesn't look, look too good. good. But, but if, if you lower your opacity to about 40%, you can see it does look a lot better. better. And, and now what we're going to do is just change it back, back to zero. And, and when the scanner it, it it right, right before it goes on, on set, set a keyframe, key and even before, set a keyframe. And, and, and when, when, right, right, when, when it, it comes on, you're going to change it back to your 25, 40%, whatever it's at. And, and then you're going to set, set a keyframe key right before it comes, comes off. Right, right when, when it fully comes, comes off, go back, back to zero. Go a couple, couple more frames, frames and, and go, go all and end bracket. bracket. Now, now what we're going to do is select, select all of that and press, press F9, F9 for, for, a not for a smoother uh, kind of like animation. Now, now what we're going to do is we're going to do, do that, that for each and every, every one, one, but there's another, another way, way to do it, it to make, make it faster. faster. So what, what we basically want to do is duplicate the layer about three, three more, more times. times. Keep, Keep a watch, watch on your white, white solid, solid rotation of your, your scanner. That's what we should call it. So, so you don't, don't get, get confused. confused. So, so once, once it, it makes its, its full rotation, rotation around your comp, comp you're going to move one all the way over here, go around it again, and see its next full rotation, bring it over here, and do that the same for the last one. You go all the way to its third rotation all the way around. And leave it there. We're not going to do one for a fourth rotation. Because, because the, the twitch, twitch effects, effects at the end. So basically now what we're going to do is that's basically, basically good. good. So, so this is the actually the end of the first part of the tutorial. tutorial. And if you don't, don't know what is really, really going on but you really want, want to, to learn how to do this, I would put, put the project, project file in here in the, the second, second part of the, the tutorial. tutorial. And I'll, I'll even show, show you a couple, couple of things on how I got, got the idea on how, how to do this. So, so anyways, this is Exotic Con Man 97, signing off.